on this episode. I head back to one of my favorite locations of this year, a place that's been very productive for us this summer. I'm here solo and I came back with a plan. And if all goes as should, I might have a nice piece of gold or two to share with you all. And hopefully this gold will point us in the direction of more in the future. Good morning, folks. I'm Prospector Jerry. We're on another adventure today. I am back solo at a spot I've been going to a lot this year. This is turning out to be one of my favorite locations. It's basically the last weekend before the time change, so I'm trying to take advantage of it, take advantage of the daylight that's out. Um, Because things kind of change for us prospecting-wise once the time changes and the daylight changes, our whole day kind of gets messed up. It's almost like we have a half day. I'm really excited about today. This location has given up uh, what we call trophy pieces. I come here just to look for bigger pieces, nuggets, and chunky stuff. Packing up some of my gear, got the detector ready to go, got my beacon out, got to turn it on, start tracking. That way if something happens to me, I'll be covered. Well, they'll know where I'm at at least. <laughs> Today I wanted to shout out one of my Patreon members, Graham Morrison. I appreciate all you do for my channel, brother. You're much appreciated, just like all my Patreon members are appreciated. I love all you guys. You make all this stuff happen can't wait to get down there like I said I got everything all locked up my bike locked up to the tree um, I got all my gear ready to go the daylight's just about to break over the hill you can see it over here it's starting to come out already I think today's gonna be a good day well I made it down this is the area that I consider the dropout zone at least in this spot what we're coming to find out is this area is very spotty there's good gold here but it's in like very spotty section since i'm solo i get to kind of talk to you guys more you, you guys are hanging out with me today i was just kind of leisurely swinging my detector throughout all this stuff and i came back to the death cave over here that jc was at i just get a weird feeling from the spot that i'm missing something here and so i came back with a detector did some swinging you might remember him right here running up with the pan full of water like this <laughs> He came up here and he found a nice piece of gold out of this crack right here. Right in here. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, buddy! <gasps> Still shaking, bro. But up in here, I got a target. It sounds really good. I'll show you. I don't know how I missed it because I swung over this last time we were here. But that's what I like about this place. This place, man, it just seems like the more attention to detail you spend here, the more it pays off. Like you could come in here, and breeze through it, find some gold. You just gotta keep thinking harder and harder. You gotta just kinda up your game every time. But if you do, it rewards you, and that's pretty cool. That's why I like this spot. So today I'm gonna take my time, I think, and try to figure out some of these locations. Every now and then you come across one of these locations out here where you just know there's something good still hiding. And this is one of those spots. Let's go see what it is. Heck yeah, I knew my detector was hearing something. That's what it was. Looks like I busted it up getting it out of there, but oh well, at least I got it out. It ain't the prettiest piece, but it's gold and there's more of it too. Heck yeah. I'm getting a slight signal inside of this little bit of a crack right here. It's a hairline. There's packed gravel in it. I have a feeling it might be a little poker or picker, so maybe a couple in here. I'm gonna beat this up and hand it out. Okay, so that crack we just cleaned out netted us two pokers. Got a little chunk to them. Not bad. That was a quick, 
I don't know, three minutes worth of digging. There's a channel that comes down here. There's a crack that kind of zigzags along at the bottom of it. It ends down here, a pinch point, a little pocket. I got a target down there and it sounds really good. I have high hopes for this one. We haven't ever found any gold over here, but it's in a spot where there should be gold. There's gold everywhere else and this spot looks really good. So I'm gonna that. That to me sounds like either gold, lead, or nail head. It doesn't have any iron sound to it, so usually a square nail, they have a little bit more iron, but the smaller targets don't. So let's dig it up. I'm hoping it's gold. So I've literally been filming every single pan up until this point. I didn't film this pan. I figured that it was just gonna be some piece of trash or something. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I figured that it was gonna be gold. It sounded really good. I guess I was just being lazy this time. But I was right down here panning, right there. And I caught a glimpse as I was fanning it back. And it's gonna be a nice piece. I haven't completely revealed it yet. I'm kind of shaking. So let's check it out. Okay, let's look at this here. Uh, I already see a little bit. Oh, it's starting to poke through. Ooh! That's a nice piece. It's at least a half gram. It's a little nugget. Look at that. Look how thick that thing is. It might even be more than a half gram. What's interesting about this spot, it seems to have very consistent half gram to three quarter gram pieces. Beautiful gold. Ooh, that sounds good. That might, that might even be closer to a gram. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, that feels good. I'm gonna say right now, that piece is 0 0.89. 0 0.89. This was covered up. This was one of our last signals that turned out to be a piece of wire which was up underneath this tree. I moved the tree out of the way. And then this looks so good. I wasn't getting a signal, but it had the perfect lip to it. And I know stuff was going up underneath there and it was all hollow when I was banging on it. So I decided to pan it out, even though I wasn't getting any signals because there's probably some smaller gold in it. And I did pan it out. I'll show you what I got here. Most fine gold I've seen. It's pretty rough, but it's fine. I made my way down to a spot that me and JC had detected previously. There's plenty of big targets here, and I wanted to see what they were. Check out that square nail. I think it's huge. It's the biggest one I've seen, and it's broken came from in there. Here are all my trash targets for the day. I did find this one nice, it almost looks like a drop. Look at this square nail. It's like perfect, it's huge. And it's perfect. That one's sweet, I'm keeping that one. Bunch of other square nails and tidbits. All pretty old trash, one modern nail, that's it. Okay, I'm out of here. It's been an awesome day. Gotta head up the hill. Found some really good gold today. I'm really happy with what I found. This place always kicks out a nice little trophy piece or two. It's what it's known for, so. Thank you, I'm not gonna name it, but thank you, River. I love this place. This is like my new favorite place, so it hasn't let me down yet.
I'm gonna miss it. I think this might be the last time I get to see it like this. Probably the next time I'm here, the water's gonna be raging. I hope we get a nice flush of water this year and it kind of moves things around and exposes some new bedrock. Cause I feel like there's a lot of gold here underneath all this gravel. All right, here's our bigger gold. There was a little bit of fine stuff, but we're not gonna worry about that. Uh, very little, so this is all the bigger stuff. We're gonna weigh it up and see what we get. We'll start with the biggest piece. Point eight five, getting close to a gram. What did I say? Point eight six, point six eight, something like that. That was close, I think. We'll put this guy on here. There goes our gram. Awesome. And the rest. One point two five, a gram and a quarter. I'll take it. If you're interested in doing your own panning at home, I now have pay dirt bags available at a limited supply. Check out my store in the links below. I'd like to say thank you to all my Patreon members. It's because of you that all of these adventures are possible, and I can't thank you enough for all the support. If you're considering becoming a Patreon member, check out the link in the description below. There's also a link in the top right corner of the next screen. Patreon members have many benefits, including group outings and chances at winning guided tours. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that thumbs up button and drop a comment below. Also consider subscribing for future gold related content. Thank you for watching and as always, I wish you heavy pans.